I'm sorry. Could we stop for a moment? Of course. Is, is something the matter? I just need a couple of minutes by myself. Minutes by myself. Bryony Tallis, your new novel, your 21st, is called Atonement. It's... Bryony? I'm sorry. Could we stop for a moment? Brian Italis, I'd like to talk now about your new novel, Atonement, which comes out in a few days to coincide with your birthday. It's your 21st novel. It's my last novel. Oh, really? Uh, are you retiring? I'm dying. My doctor tells me I have something called vascular dementia which is essentially a continuous series of tiny strokes. Your brain closes down gradually. You lose words, you lose your memory, which for a writer is pretty much the point. So that's why I could finally write the book, I think. I had to. And why, of course, it's my last novel. Strangely enough, It would be just as accurate to call it my first novel. I wrote several drafts as far back as my time at St. Thomas's Hospital during the war. Just couldn't ever find the way to do it. Because the novel is, is autobiographical, is that right? Yes, entirely. I haven't changed any names, including my own. And, and was that the problem? No. I had for a very long time decided to tell the absolute truth. No rhymes, no embellishments. And I think... You've read the book, you'll understand why. I got first-hand accounts of all the events I didn't personally witness conditions in prison, the evacuation to Dunkirk, everything. But the effect of all this honesty was rather pitiless, you see. I couldn't any longer imagine what purpose would be served by it. By what, sorry, served by honesty? By honesty. Or reality. Because, in fact, I was too much of a coward to go and see my sister in June 1940. I never made that journey to Ballard. So the scene in which I confess to them is imagined, invented. And in fact, could never have happened. Because Robbie Turner died of septicemia at Bray Dunes on June 1st, 1940, the last day of the evacuation. Cheerio, pal. And I was never able to put things right with my sister Cecilia. Because she was killed on the 15th of October, 1940, 
by the bomb that destroyed the gas and water mains of our Ballam tube station. So, my sister and Robbie were never able to have the time together. They both so longed for and deserved. And which ever since I've... Ever since I've always felt I prevented. But what sense of hope or satisfaction could a reader derive from an ending like that? So in the book, I wanted to give Robbie and Cecilia what they lost out on in life. I'd like to think this isn't weakness or evasion, but a final act of kindness. I gave them their 